Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies. Today I am going to continue working on this and we are going to, well I started this video once already where I put the hitch post on here and then my phone ran out of room so I had to stop the video and um, delete things but now I'm back and I am trying to put this hair tie through I punched a hole here as well in the last video and let me see if I can pull this hair tie through using tweezers okay it's maybe if I use my pokey tool Okay, there we go. I was gonna use a thinner hair tie, but I wanted to try with this one. Okay, so I make the loop really small. I love using a hitch post fastener and I thought it would be perfect for this journal. Of course, right now it doesn't need it, but as I fill this up, it's going to stretch. So the tie is going to do a great job at holding it together. And I mentioned in the first video that I wasn't going to add hardware, but then I thought about it because the hardware here is gold, but I really wanted to add hardware. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to add book corners as well. <clears throat> Cuz I think this is the perfect book or it's not a journal, but I'm looking for my glossy accents. Let me shake it up a little bit cuz I haven't used it in a while. I have a needle in here that looks like it might be stuck. Okay, let me grab. Do you guys leave a needle in your glossy accents? I would love to know. Because it's turning green. Like, is that really bad? Alright, so. I am going to see how this looks. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some glossy accents. I never know if I should put it in here or on the book cover. Let me go ahead and put it in here. And I tend to use a lot of glue. The glue seems stuck, even though some of it came out already. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, let me know if you guys leave a needle in your glossy accents. And if you don't, does it get like stuck? I mean, like, does it plug up the nozzle? Okay, so I have a good amount in there. I'm trying to decide if I want some on the back, like on this side. I think I'll add just a tiny bit. And I know I'm off camera, but let me just add a tiny bit on here. And then we will go ahead and fit it in. I want to make sure it's really in there good. Some glue is squeezing through. 
So I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off. And really just make sure it's in there really good. Then I am going to clamp these down. I hope you can see. I'm always afraid that I'm like warping the front with the pliers. I should put something behind it. All right. Then let's go ahead and do that with this side as well. So let me just do one side on camera because it's really awkward. I'm like on my tiptoes right now. <laughs> um, but I will finish the other one later. So there we have one corner. And let's go ahead and I'm going to show you. I did a lot of fussy cutting yesterday and I want to put some in here and then show you the other things that will end up going into this folio and we can kind of organize together. This is probably going to be my last video of me working on this and once I fill it up I might come back and do like a little flip through um, but That's okay, so this I did this page yesterday. I filled it. I was cutting up this book of flowers, just really trying to go through because I did some organizing yesterday and I finally got a second filming area done where I'm going to be filming any haul videos that I have. And it was just like collecting, um, uh, like collecting anything and everything this little area so I decided to clean it up and organize it and I'm gonna have a video showing what I did there but I found this book because I have a bunch of magazines down there and this is a book that I bought they're all photographs which I don't like to use in my junk journals so I bought this book it was part of a library sale like I bought it a year ago probably or more than a year ago but I think it's in one of my videos, but I probably bought it at this library that sells a bag of books for a dollar um, because I wanted to use these types of images like photographs in glue books. So what I did yesterday, and that's all I did all day long, and it was really relaxing, just fussy cutting all day. I cut out all these flowers this is the red page, this is the pink page, and this is the peach and yellow page. I think I'm going to have to split this up into two, but for now, that's what's going in there. Now I'm trying to look for my other fussy cut images. which were here. Oh yeah, I put it in my drawer. Okay, so I still have a lot more to cut, but this is what I have so far. So I really do think that I need to separate this out. So I think I'm gonna start putting yellow on this side. So let's just go ahead. This is really big, so let me just leave it till the end. I'll just put that aside and just put yellows in here. I'm really liking how this looks because it looks so pretty. I 
that's a really big image this big one can go in the back here's a little one all right so I've never done an ephemera folio but okay actually there's more peach and orange flowers so let me do yellow on the other page because it's going to be less work instead of switching everything over let me go ahead and put some reds in here i've never done any ephemera folio and i use clear on a lot of pages and then I printed on the transparency for a lot of pages. But now is the part where I'm probably gonna have to figure out which one I like better. Because of course, when nothing's in the pockets, these look better. But when there are things in the pockets, I think that the clear looks a lot better. But I have to keep in mind that it's because these are real pictures and they're flowers. So of course flowers are going to look good. And I think they look so good all next to each other. And I think this is why I kind of fell in love with this when I saw it on Gail's channel and on Martina, of Martina's channel over at Teal and Tattered because they look so good when you have things in here. It's almost like this is a functional type of folio. I'm gonna cut this little bit off just so it'll fit better. This is supposed to be functional, but I think it looks good even if it's not just functional. Like, it almost reminds me of those sticker books that kids used to have. Look at how pretty that looks. It reminds me of sticker books that kids used to have, and it's just like a bunch of images. But do you guys have an ephemera folio and do you find it helpful when you're crafting? I'm excited to see how this is gonna, how useful this is gonna be once I start actually using it. Flowers are just so pretty. And I love it when there's a whole bunch in one place. This is a yellow one, so I'll put it over there. We're at 13 minutes already. This looks so pretty. I did not think that I would come up with these many flowers, and I'm not even done, I'm not even close to being done with that book. All right, and even though these pictures are not my favorite, it's like the shiny type of pictures and it's like shiny and it's like pictures. I'm more into like paintings and drawings and stuff, but it just looks so good. I hope you, I hope that's showing up well on camera, but I, also cut out these little pictures in that same book. So they had some pages with these types of flowers. So I'm gonna put them in on this page. And this is a little bit spikier, like there's more edges and stuff. 
so it I can see how that can get hooked into the other the other cutouts all right now this is a pink flower so let me add it to the pink page so what I'm gonna have to do later or I might just leave this I really like this I might just start another yellow page somewhere else but and these are super oversized so I'll need to figure out what to do with those now I had been fussy cutting some things for my retro journals which are going to be coming up they're going to be coming up after this project of mine but they're little um, canned foods and retro images that I thought would be really cool as altered paper clips and I've seen Diane H do really cool um, altered paper clips so that's what I was cutting these out for and I think they'll go really well in my next journals but these are gonna need a spot in this book and I think I'm gonna use this well, I need one with, I was doing one and a half inch pockets, and then I did one inch. And I really need one inch for these because they're really small. So maybe I'll pick this page. Like these would be perfect. Actually, I need one. These are all one inch. Let's go with this, but then this. I think I'm going to go with this page. So let me just start putting it in here. Okay. I think I am going to pick a plain page for this. Like, I feel like these ones would be good for something like this because they don't have any pattern and I can just see them right off the bat like what they are so I think these ones with pattern pockets are going to be designated for these types of pockets And then hmm. I'm trying to find like a good page for this. I think I should have done more clear one page. I mean one inch pockets. I think this might be a good one. So let me go ahead and start putting some in here. It just looks so cool. It looks like these things are on a shelf. Let me put this over here. It looks like, I think once I have these all in here, it's gonna look like a cupboard because these are all like food items. And I like how some of them are taller than others. Maybe this can go back here. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna continue working on this. And like I said, this is gonna be my last video working on this um, folio. But when I finish filling it up, I might come back and do a flip through. If you would like to see that, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you liked this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos from me, please consider subscribing to my channel. 
Thank you so much for watching today, and I will talk to you next time. Bye, everyone.